Okay. Happy Monday. If you're here at school, I'm going to be collecting your Bud Not Buddy book whenever I see you today. Obviously, if you're an at-home student today, I'll collect yours tomorrow. If you're a fully virtual student, you can A, have your parent drop off your book when they come to pick up your other stuff at school that they should be getting an email about, or B, you can just drop it off whenever, or I can get it back in January, whatever. It's not the biggest deal. I just want it back eventually, obviously, because it's my book. So um, yeah, if you're a virtual student, someone can drop it off at the office whenever. If you're an at-school student, I'll get it today or I'll get it tomorrow. No big deal, okay? So if I already said your name that you're missing assignments, please get those done as soon as possible. Remember, Friday at 2.35 is the absolute latest for anything can be done. After that, everything is straight zeros, and that stinks. <clears throat> Lots of you did pretty good on your AR test. Some of you did not, which makes me sad. But lots of you did pretty good, which is awesome because then you guys got lots of AR points because some of you guys still need lots of AR points. But today, I just want to go through and just discuss what our favorite part of Bud Not Buddy was and what our least favorite part about Bud, Bud Not Buddy was. So I'm just going to call on people and you're going to tell me first, what was something that you really, really liked about Bud Not Buddy? So first, what is something you liked? So if I call on you, unmute yourself and share with me. Or raise your hand if you want to go, like, first, I guess. You could do the little raise your hand thing. Anyone really want to go? Well, I'm going to go first, actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go first. And Mrs. Kneifel, myself, I really loved, well, love Bud Not Buddy because I feel like it's one of those books that you want to keep reading because you just don't know what's going to happen next. So I think that's my favorite part is – that it re it's a book that I just want to keep reading. I want to keep reading. Like, I want to finish the book. And then also, I love that um, Bud, like, followed his gut. Like, he had this feeling that he needed to find his dad. And although it wasn't actually his dad, it was his grandpa. You know, he followed his gut, and he just knew he had to go find him. And he did. He followed his gut, and he was able to, like, successfully, like, find himself a home. So that's Mrs. Kneifel's favorite part. So anyone want to share first? Anyone? Anyone? Going once? Going twice? If not, I'm just going to call on random people. And that random person could be you. We're sharing our favorite part, which means you can't give me a wrong answer if you're sharing your favorite part. It's just your favorite. Gage, you're right in the dead center of my screen. Tell me, what's something that you really, really liked about Bud Not Buddy? Um, my favorite part is that, like, you don't know what's going to happen next, like, it's pretty suspenseful in some parts. Like you're like, oh snap, what the heck is coming? So I do like that it is pretty suspenseful. Um, Paisley, you're next, ma'am. Tell me something you really liked about Bud Not Buddy. Um, it's kind of like what you said. I like um, how it's like makes you kind of nervous. Yeah, it gives you that feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to read this. I have to know what's going to happen to him. So yeah, that's another like suspenseful feeling. It makes you nervous. You're just like, oh my God, if I don't find out what happens next, I'm never going to sleep, you know? Okay. Um, Paisley, why don't you pick on who's going to go next? That's what we'll do. You get to pick who's going next. Say a name. Um, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, you were chosen. Mackenzie. Okay, well then just type your favorite part in. Type in your favorite part, something you really liked, and then also type in a name of who's going to go next. Hello, Isaac. Thank you for joining. We are just sharing our favorite parts of Bud Not Buddy one at a time currently. Mackenzie is typing out her favorite part currently because apparently her microphone doesn't work. If you know your microphone doesn't work as well, maybe you could start typing your favorite part. In case you, know, you get called on next. Okay, Mackenzie said, I think my favorite part is when Bud finds out that Herman is his grandfather. 
I do like that. Like, I'm like, oh, snap. Like, wasn't expecting that. So what a plot twist. Love it. Mackenzie, pick someone else. Who's going next? It can't be Paisley. It can't be Gage. They have already been chosen. Hannah, it is your turn. My favorite part is also how, like, um, uh, Harmony Calloway is Bud's grandfather. All right. That was a good, good plot twist. Hannah, pick someone else. Olive. Olive, ma'am. I like when Bud slept in his mom's room, but he didn't know that it was his mom's room. All right. I like that, too. It's like, you know, Bud just thought he was sleeping in some random person's room, but really it's his mom's old room. So that's like super special. So that is a good part. Olive, you may pick someone else to go. Zachary. Why? You got to tell me why. All right, so am I my volume on? Zach said he liked some of the front of the book more. And I do, I think the front of the book was like crazy adventurous. Remember, he was like locked in a shed. He tried to hop on a train, was stung by a bunch of bees, had to get a different name so he could eat breakfast. So he did go through lots of crazy adventures really, really quick in the beginning of the book. So I also do really did enjoy the beginning of the book, but I also enjoyed the end of the book. Zachary, pick someone else. Who's next? McKeelan? Okay, McKeelan, sir, you are next. What's your favorite part? McKeelan, are you there? Nikilin, are you typing? Or are you going to share with us? All right, we so far are not hearing from Nikilin. Hopefully he will join us. Um, I'm gonna go to, a, oh wait, I don't really have one. Okay, well, be thinking of one. There were so many good parts. There's gotta be a part you really like. Um, Landon Rebus, your turn, sir. Remember, if you, my favorite part of the book was the end. My favorite part of the book was the end. I really wanted to have another book about Bud, and my least favorite part was the Amoses were really mean, and Todd got what he deserved. Yeah, Todd, that was definitely a least favorite part. Like, we hate Todd. I hated that he was locked in a shed. That's not cool, but I'm glad you liked the ending. I also liked the ending, but I do wish there was more. Like, I wish we could find out, like, what happened in the next part of Bud's life. Landon, pick who's next, sir. Landon. Logan W., type it out or say it. What's your favorite part? And if you're going to type it out, if I were you people, I'd be typing, you know, while you're waiting to be called on. That way we're not just chilling here for like six hours. Logan W. Logan. Logan W, Logan W, Logan W, Logan W. 
My favorite part of the book was when the one guy um picked him up from like the the bushes oh, and yeah. brought him to his dad. Yeah, Lefty Lewis, you know that guy. He was a little little tricky fellow. You know, he just stopped on the side of the road and was like, "Yeah, I got some got a bologna sandwich. Come on in." So luckily, he I mean he helped out Bud so much. Like, would Bud have ever made it all the way? To the other part of Michigan if he you know hadn't met Mr. Lewis so Mr. Lewis definitely played a big role in it all right Logan Westland pick someone else who else needs to go Blake needs to go Isaac Isabella Trim Logan B um Olivia needs to go Rainier needs to go you can pick any of them Angelina and Avery also need to go Rainier Rainier sir your turn my favorite part of the book is when Bud finds out the person he is looking for ends up being his grandfather and not his dad. Right. Such a good plot twist. A snap. It was a oh my gosh moment. All right, Rainier, you may pick someone else. Thank you for sharing. Angelina. Angelina. My favorite part of the book is when Bud broke out of the shed and when, no, my favorite part of the book is when Bud slapped Top because he really did deserve it for all the rude and annoying things that he did to Bud. All right. So Bud did get a little bit of payback. All right, Angelina, you may pick someone else. Who all has to go? Who? Who's... Avery needs to go. Blake needs to go. Isaac, Isabella Trim. Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, ma'am. My favorite part of the book was probably when those people um took Bud and acted like he was their son to let him eat. And my least favorite part of the book was probably the end because I didn't want the book to end. It was a really good book. Right. Oh, man, I hate when books end. It just makes me sad. Like, I wish they could kind of go on forever. All right, Olivia, you may pick someone else. Avery. Avery. My favorite part of the book is when Bud is, like, hopping, trying to hop the train. Right, and he just, like, can't make it. And then I think it was so, like, it was really nice of him, but kind of funny, too, when Bugs just, like, threw his suitcase out. He, like, just knew. He's like, well, Bud's not making it. Chucked his suitcase. It was really nice of him that he didn't, like, keep the suitcase and he got it back to him, but I just think it was, like, so funny. Like, boop, you know, bye. And so I thought that was funny. All right, we still need Blake, Isaac, Isabella, and Logan B. Avery, you may pick someone. Isabella? Isabella Trim. I like the whole book and most of the end because he was reunited with his family. Like the family he didn't even know. I also like how the band members really took him in. Even before they knew he was Herman's grandson, they just like, they just like were planning on keeping him, you know? They're like, all right, well, we don't know who this kid is, but he's just going to join our family. So that's really cool. All right. We need uh, Isaac, Blake, or Logan B, Isabella. Logan B, sir. Logan, do you have a favorite part that you want to type in for us, Logan? The end of the, I really like the end of the book. Yeah, I did too. All right, Logan, you may pick Isaac or Blake. Blake, share with us, sir. My favorite part was when Bud found Lefty Lewis. I liked that too. Well, really, Lefty Lewis found him. You know, he freaking spotted him off the side of the road. And lastly, Mr. Isaac, would you like to share your favorite part of the book? Oh, yeah, when they shared slabber. Oh, gross. Yeah, that was, I totally forgot about that part. Okay, well, thank you guys for sharing your favorite part. I was just curious. I liked reading your guys's, um, what would you, um, your um, book reviews, those are fun to read. So if you haven't finished your book review, be sure to finish your book review. If I said your name earlier that you need to finish assignments, guess what? You need to finish those assignments as soon as possible. 
Um, like I said, if you're an in-school learner, I will get your book either today or tomorrow. If you're a virtual learner, whenever someone's driving by the school, when the school's open, have someone drop it your book off at school. No, I do not know what book we're reading next. Um, like when we come back in January. Also, some of you may be moving reading RTIs. It depends. We don't know yet. We haven't decided. So some of you may end up moving. We still have about 10 minutes left in reading RTI. And during this time, I would like you to read for AR. Angelina, do you have a question? Why would someone must be moving? Because our AR groups are fluid. And sometimes we move around, depending on how well you're doing. Oh. We are not reading another um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, Isaac, because I don't have a class set of any other Diary of a Wimpy Kid book besides the one we already read. I'm debating between two different books. Um, I just haven't decided yet, but it'll be another good book, I promise. Can you turn it on tomorrow? What, Landon? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, if you have a... Can, yes, I already said, Landon. If you are here tomorrow, I'll get your book tomorrow. If you're here today, I'll get your book today. All right, you are free to leave me. Hold on, don't leave yet. Just wait one second. If you have missing assignments, you need to do missing assignments. If you do not have missing assignments, you should be reading for AR. What do you need, Olive? Okay. And also, real quick, you do not have a live reading class today, actual reading. We do not have a live reading. Instead, you're taking NWEA. Be sure to read all those directions. But I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. You may read or do missing assignments for reading our TI class, okay? Isaac, there may be a few other things that you're gonna do, so make sure you check every day. Some days you'll be reading for a reading or for AR, but I might have an assignment or two for you this week as well, Isaac.